We seem to receive a lot of questions about um, this particular error message here. So I figured I'd show create a video and show you guys how you get yourselves in that situation, but then also how to um, solve the problem. So often um, the most common situation with part files is you've got a, a template with a standard material set and then you want to make a tweak to that uh, the appearance that that material uses. So I'm just in any old file at the moment and it seem, seems like a, a normal workflow to um, to want to edit this um, this appearance using this method. So in this case the, the material is aluminium and that uses um, the aluminium flat material color. So if I want to add self illumination <clears throat> and then I save that back into uh, my library metal aluminium and I want to replace that now you think that all everything's all good but the next time you create a new file you get this message again saying there's a color conflict with aluminium flat how do I get rid of that so the problem is is you should actually be making changes to your styles whatever they are either your drawing styles or your um, part material or appearance styles in your templates not in the files that you're working on so to fix that we're going to actually go into that file and make that change so we get open we want to open the template file up so um, we'll go to the default template location for this project file this file here so open that up and have a look at this material and you can see that it's actually different so then the, do the document appearance differs from the active library appearance now depending on which way around you want it you want to be careful about um, how you proceed here so if you want the um, appearance in this document as you can see this is the appearance documents here to be um, the library appearance then you need to add to and save that to the appropriate category in the appropriate library. If you want to update the template file with the appearance that's in the library, then you need to come to manage the manage tab and hit update. And you can see here that the aluminium flat, there are changes local, it always says the changes are local, but as you've um, made the changes in the library, they're actually in the library. And so I can say update, yes to all, and I can commit that change. In this case, I'm just going to push that change back into the library because I don't actually want to modify my library. I'm going to replace it. I can save this part file. When I have a look here now, there's no conflicts here anymore. If I hit save. There are some changes in other areas, but nothing to do with my um, with my styles. But it's probably a good practice to make sure that this is all tidied up as well because there's certain situations where you'll get the same message for default, default ISO and so now we've saved that template file off next time we create a new template everything works as you'd expect you anyway, know I hope that explains it um, well enough for you guys and um, yep, see you again next time cheers bye